What's up guys, Fishbricks85 here, and today we're gonna be taking a look at, as I promised, a bunch of retro um, Lost World and Jurassic Park, and um, there might even be a couple of JP3 figures in here. So these are some of the original 90s toys um, that I grew up with. I had a few of these as a kid. Um, I didn't have a whole lot of these, but uh, when Lost World came out, I actually did go see it in movie theaters. And uh, my parents got me a couple of figures from the movie and I got a couple of those in here. So uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and dive in. Uh, we'll get to the bag in a second. First, we'll take a look at the um, old school JP22 Pterodon with realistic fabric wings and uh, flapping abilities. I picked this guy up a couple of years ago off of eBay Got him for like 20 bucks, maybe less. And then he's got a mouth that can open. This was, um, I think, innovative for the time that it came out. Um, but this was also kind of typical on how pterodons, and back then they were called pterodactyls. They weren't even called pterodons yet. So that's one of my greatest memories growing up is calling these things pterodactyls. And then he's got these really cool, like, grabbing claws. So, yeah, I just thought this was pretty cool to have. I like the real fabric wings, which was also very popular for the 90s. Anything that came with a cape, uh, like, I remember the Batman movie coming out. And you had Michael Keaton with the real cloth cape. So, pretty cool. Definitely, things were definitely built a little different back then. So... With that being said, let's go ahead and just dive right into the bag. First one that comes to the top right here, boom. This is the old school um, Jurassic Park TLW head rammer, bonehead, Pachycephalosaurus. Had that head butting action and uh, the, hey, look at my nails. Look at my nails. Just look at them. So, yeah, she's pretty cool. I got a couple of those in here. This is actually one of the figures that I had as a kid that my parents picked up for me right after the movie came out. Boom, there they are. So I got a set of those. Um, pretty cool. Same thing, head butting action. And um, I actually have the capture gear for this in one of my other boxes. Um, so I didn't bother pulling it out for this video, though. I just kind of wanted to go over what was in this bag already. So let's see. Oh, and then, boom. I believe this was Dieter. Um, you know, the guy who gave uh, copies a reason to fear humans and later got killed off by them. And uh, I actually picked this guy up. He's in kind of bad shape. He reminds me of like the old school 90 Terminator figures, which was again, just a popular way. And this was like standard size for figures back then. I picked this guy up for like a quarter at a yard sale. So he's not in the greatest shape. Love the engine tattoo that he has going on there. So yeah, he's pretty cool. And then I picked these guys up separately uh, on a couple of different occasions, but I ended up with the set of them. Again, probably not in the greatest shape. Um, Mattel, you guys need to take note. A lot of your newer rubber figures are starting to tear on me, where as you can see here, I mean, this thing's all the way from the 90s and uh, there's no rips or tears. So you could just tell the rubber was way better made back then. So yeah, with that being said, let's go into this bag some more and see what else we got in here. So to go along with Dieter, um, I also have his little compi. I wanna say that there used to be like a magnet attached right here to the mouth. I'm not sure. If you guys know, uh, please let me know. I haven't seen one of these in a very long time, so I can't remember if they're supposed to be a magnet, but uh, I didn't get this with my Dieter. I picked it up separately, but uh, one of the best compies we've gotten, in my opinion, even though it is a little a little big, but it does size well with Dieter, so that's pretty cool. And then, um, not exactly sure who this guy is, some Jurassic Park worker. Pretty sure he's supposed to be somebody, but um, I don't really know. He's just a figure that I got in a Kenner lot. Um, same with this guy here. Again, 
Uh, I don't really know who these guys are. So if you know what uh, series this is from or what figures these are, please let me know. He's also got this guy right here. And um, I'm also unaware of who he is supposed to be. So uh, that might be a version of Alan Grant there in the middle, but it doesn't really look like it's supposed to be him. Uh, you know, the Kidder figures never did really resemble who they were supposed to be anyway. So not too sure. But if you guys could, let me know in the comments below who these three guys are. And then it's not a Triceratops. It has a different name. I can't remember what the name is. But um, we got this guy right here. This is also super cool. And uh, he's a some Ceratopian dinosaur, but not supposed to be a three horn even though he does have three horns um because with a different name i don't have his capture gear unfortunately his capture gear is pretty cool it's supposed to hold him to the ground and then he can break out of it with that head action there and uh, the mouth is just frozen in that pose it doesn't actually open so yeah and then i've got this net throwing backpack um i believe it came with this guy but i'm not sure that that's who it goes to I don't know who all these accessories and things go to, but um, it's pretty cool. Just like click this back here and then push this button here and you put a net on there and it will actually chuck the net at a dinosaur. And then I have my Tanistrophius capture gear right here, which I don't have. I should have threw uh, Tanistrophius into this lot, but eh, I didn't bother because I've already reviewed him. And then last, but certainly not least, one of my favorites, looking like Rudy from Ice Age, is one of the old school Baryonyxes. Now this capture gear is not from Kenner. Um, this is from, um, oh, what is that called? One of those little like mystery balls, um, little dinosaur things. Um, I've done, done a video on them. I can't remember what they're called though for some reason. But anyway, yeah, definitely not Kenner, but great for Kenner. I thought this made some great handcuffs for this Baryonyx, so I just threw them on there. And then he's got a spring-loaded mouth as well, but no button or anything to open it. His head does turn, which you can do with his leg back here. If you can see, his head will turn. And then the arms, they move freely on their own. And this leg moves freely on its own. But this is the spring-loaded one with the JP mark that controls the head movement. But this is what Baryonyx looked like in Kenner's eyes way back when. So anyway, guys, as promised, my kenner lot here's just some of the kenner figures i have i do have a few more but this is the majority of them right here and i hope to add more to my collection as time goes on like maybe the demon carnotaurus bone breaker carnotaurus um and some of the the other like the bull rex the buck and the original red rex would be nice at some point Anyway, guys, let me know what you think about the video in the comments below. Make sure you smash on that thumbs up. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. And as always, guys, we'll see you in the next video. Fishbricks85, you know what it is.